month. Kate Summers, Southern Cross News. Well, yesterday, Newport Perry Home went on the market. The house was built by eight young people who were able to develop their skills as part of the Boys Town project. Boys Town is a non-profit national youth organisation which helps over 300,000 young people right across the country. Over the past nine months, eight young locals were employed by Boys Town. They were given the opportunity to build up their skills working on a residential home. We work with the most disadvantaged young people, so people that are really uh, marginalised, um, might have dropped out of school, might be having difficulties finding employment or have other barriers. In a town where the youth unemployment rate exceeds 30%, projects like these can open many doors for young tradespeople. I think it's uh, about opportunity and I think unfortunately in, in regional centres the opportunities are less than what they are in, in metropolitan centres. And I think that's where we have to be more innovative in the programs that we run. Following the completion of the home, three of the eight boys have now gained employment. The remaining four continue to develop their skills whilst working with Boys Town. Yeah, they enjoy it. Um, sometimes you've got to settle them down a little bit. They get a little bit carried away, but you know, that's what we're here for, is to teach them what, they, what, to, what people expect of them from employers out there that are looking for people to work. So. I mean, get more experience, build my confidence up and talking and stuff. With experience under their belt, the future is bright for these young tradespeople. So it's really about giving them the skills, the confidence, the ability to go out there and believe in themselves. Uh, and ultimately to find work and, and hope, hopefully put a spoke in the wheel of long-term unemployment. Sarah Hancock, Southern Cross News. What a top effort. Well, still to come.